Hi, Dr. Vo here. I'm a cataract and refractive eye surgeon. In today's video, I'm going to cover a topic that confuses a lot of my patients, and that's how to interpret your eyeglass prescription. I'm going to throw up a sample prescription up on the screen for you to follow. The first step is to identify your right eye and your left eye. There are two rows. The first one will say OD. That stands for Oculus Dexter, which is your right eye. Just below it, you'll see OS, which stands for Oculus Sinister. That's your left eye. In the first column, you'll see Sphere, also written as SPH. This is the power of the lens needed to correct your vision. You can see a positive number or a negative number here. If you see a positive number, it means that you are farsighted, meaning that you see objects better at distance and need the glasses to help with your near vision. If you see a negative number, it means that you are nearsighted. You see objects better up close, but need the glasses to help with your distance vision. Your lens powered is measured in a unit called diopters. The second column you'll see is the cylinder, also abbreviated by CYL. This is the amount of power needed to correct for your astigmatism. So what is astigmatism? Astigmatism is when the surface of the shape of your eye is not completely spherical like a basketball, but instead it's shaped more like a football. As a result, light entering your eye does not focus at a single point but instead it focuses at multiple points within your eye. As a result, images appear blurry or distorted. If you see sphere written under cylinder, it means that you don't have any astigmatism correction. The third column you'll see is the axis. This number will be anywhere from one up to 180. This simply notates in which axis the cylinder must be placed to correct for your astigmatism. The next column you'll see is the ad. This is for patients who are more middle aged and need reading power built into their glasses, either like a bifocal or a progressive lens. This number will always be written as a positive value number. The last column you'll see is the prism, which is not that commonly used, but is for patients who have the plopia where they see two images instead of one. The prisms can be used to help realign the images and fuse them into one. Here you'll see a number followed by one of four abbreviations. BU, which means base up, BD, which means base down, BI, which means base in, or BO, which means base out. This simply notates in which direction the prism must be placed for your eyes. The last number you'll see is the PD, which is the pupillary distance. This is the distance between your two eyes. The reason why you need this number is so that when they make your glasses, the glasses maker will know how to align the optical center of the lens with your eyes. Now, you might be wondering if you have a strong glasses prescription or not. So if you are a hyperope, if you have a prescription between plus 0.25 up to plus two diopters, you are considered a mild hyperope. If you have from plus two diopters up to plus five diopters, you are considered a moderate hyperope. And if you have over plus five diopters, you are considered a high hyperope. For myopes, if you have from minus 0.25 up to minus 3 diopters, you are considered a mild myope. From minus 3 diopters up to minus 6 diopters, you are considered a moderate myope. And if you have over minus 6 diopters, you are considered a high myope. For astigmatism, from 0 to 1 diopters is considered mild astigmatism. From 1 to 2 diopters is considered moderate astigmatism and from two to three diopters is considered severe astigmatism. And if you have over three diopters of astigmatism, that's considered extreme astigmatism. Now, one last note, just remember, your glasses prescription is not the same as your contact lens prescription, so they are not interchangeable. In a future video, I'll go over contact lens prescriptions. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. If there are certain topics that you want me to discuss, please drop them in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!